Hi, I'm Greg Banish from Calibrated Success. and Welcome to our second video in the DVD training series on how to properly tune your General Motors vehicle using aftermarket tools like EFI Live and HP tuners. In the first video, we covered a lot of the basics of how to properly tune your car, starting with injector values, and we gave you a lot of common injector data to work with in there. It's very important to get this right, and that's the building block in which we work moving forward. Also in the first video, we showed you how to properly adjust the mass airflow sensor curve and the volumetric efficiency tables. Now in our second video, we're going to go a little bit deeper. We're going to pick up where we left off. We're going to cover some more advanced topics. We're going to talk about using the newer equation-based virtual VE tables. Cars like this 2007 Z06 just don't have a primary VE table anymore. They've got an equation-based system, and we're going to dive into it. We're going to show you how it works and how to properly tune it on a load-bearing dyno. We've also got some other interesting topics that I've had a lot of questions from students over the years in our classes. One is, how do I make large injectors fit when the ECM only allows a certain maximum injector flow rate? This car, again, is one of those examples where we can show you how to properly make very large flow numbers fit within the numbers that the ECU can understand. We'll dive into that a little bit later during our scaling exercise here on the dyno. There's also a few other topics that we'll get into. We'll talk about some work in boosted systems. This car has a supercharger. Part of it is just the same as any other car, but parts of it are very different, and we're going to show you how to make those work properly in the calibration process. We've also had some questions about larger camshafts. Larger camshafts introduce a few more tuning questions that must also be dealt with, particularly around the idle and low flow regions where we might have a lot of reversion. There are ways to smooth these out and give us better data that we really can believe, giving us a better running car. So stick with us as we dive into these more advanced topics for disc two.